Hello, I'm the Retro Rooster, and in this new series, I'll analyse and give a unique point of view to the traditional portrayal and tropes associated with villains in movies, television and more by talking about specific villain from popular culture. In today's episode, we'll be talking about Professor James Moriarty, the most famous and iconic antagonist from the iconic detective stories of Sherlock Holmes, who was created by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. He was first introduced in The Final Problem as the Napoleon of Crime. According to Sherlock Holmes, at age 21, he wrote a highly successful thesis that gave him a seat at a prestigious university. Presumably, around the same time, Moriarty started his criminal empire and left the university for further illegal involvements. Both he and Holmes eventually meet their end at Reichenbach Falls, Switzerland. Although it's eventually revealed in the empty hearse that Holmes survived. Despite only appearing in two stories, the character of Moriarty has been a major part in the Sherlock Holmes lore for years, almost rivalling his arch nemesis worldwide fame. He's also been in numerous pieces of Sherlock Holmes media for more than a few decades. From Jared Harris to Andrew Scott, Professor Moriarty will always be the Napoleon of crime. That concludes this week's episode of Villainology. This is the Retro Rooster saying goodbye.